stupid. We're gonna start it all over. <laughs> uh, hey guys, Tips on Teddy here. Welcome to the second ever Melee Stats podcast with Edwin Button, our returning co-host, and the KB. K, do you want to give a little bit of a background about what you do in the Melee community? Now you're right, Red right Threads. <laughs> <laughs> um, about Japan. Um, I'm, you might know me as K Beats on Reddit, um, and yeah, I post a lot of those stuff about um, the Japanese melee scene. And I wrote that Neon post once about how Neon, West Coast and on me doesn't exist <laughs> in the SSBM rank, but I guess that's about it. <laughs> I don't really do anything else. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so with that out of the way, and you guys already know who Edwin and I am, uh, we're going to move into our, we now have our list of topics down below, so it's a little bit easier to follow, and we'll strike them out once we've been through them. But first, we're going to start off with uh, Nintendo switching over the Marth and giving up on Ices. I actually want to read, to kind of start off the discussion, read a direct quote from it, and you sit here kind of get your guys' like hot takes on it. I know you guys also have like briefly glanced over it, but uh, this is about from like right in the beginning of it. Uh, this feeling was compounded by the realization that Ice Climbers are not a viable character in the current metagame. I currently believe that with today's pool of active players, the highest rank that an Icy's player can consistently get is about 15th. So I, I'd love to hear what you guys think about that off the bat, or any sort of other takes on Nintendo giving up on Icy's. Um, okay, someone on chat said that is Army the best Icy's right now? Now it's probably still true. Um, to go off of what Nintendo said, uh, do I think ICs are still viable? I think ICs will almost always be viable to some extent, just because the natural volatility of their character, I don't think will ever change just because how easy it is to accidentally get a grab, <laughs> like off of a tech chase or whatnot. I don't think any amount of metagame development will ever change that, but... In terms of consistency, I think uh, it's been proven by like, like, by Andy actually that mm -hmm. that Ices are probably the most consistent character in the game, and just by like the way Wobbling works, I think it's that it's kind of obvious that that's how it's going to be. And anybody who's a competitor is not going to want to gamble on that kind of odds where you can't guarantee success with that character. And I can definitely understand that, especially when A, everybody camps out your character, B, everybody hates your character. Mm -hmm. The combination of all those three factors, I don't, I really am not surprised at Nintendo, nor do I blame him that he made the hmm. and, and I'd say you have a little bit of a, a, a better perspective than Edwin or I do as you're a Samus main. So you, you kind of <laughs> understand a character in that sort of realm do you, do you ever feel, um, uh, like, not to, like, at you for being a Samus main, do you ever feel that there's just, like, even if you got the best you could be at Samus, there's just this artificial ceiling? And not to say you're wasting your time playing Samus, but uh, saying that, like, if you took this time and put it into another character, you would be able to put out better results. Do you ever have that, like, nagging feeling that, like, may, even I mean, though you may enjoy playing Samus, it's... You're, the, there's a ceiling there. There's a glass ceiling. Well, um, it's hard for me to ever say the maximum ability of a character at that level. I don't think I'm always qualified to say that. What I do believe is that with characters like Samus or not Ices that are like mid-tier or whatever, mm -hmm. um, is that you'll be consistent with them in the sense that you'll probably consistently lose to the same people. <laughs> <laughs> consistently beat the same people. Usually lose because that's how mid-tiers work. Mm -hmm. And in, But that, in a sense, is in some ways better because you can always find a way to improve even if those odds are not in your favor. You can always find a way where you can outplay and improve in certain areas where it's consistent. Mm -hmm. The problem is with ICs is that there are a lot of things where it's just hard to legitimately prove in just because you your character has so many weaknesses and such a polarizing strength. Mm -hmm. So um, I that that's kind of like my difference there is because it's not necessarily about the maximum rank that you can get. It's just that you can't consistently ever get a rank. And the fact that you can't ever consistently get a rank is something that I don't think any character uh, really epitomizes as well as the Ice, except maybe Falco, just because 
I, don't know. <laughs> I, I, I would say with Falco, it's probably more the people who play him than yeah. the character itself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I think there's room for consistency of Falco, although mm-hmm. I also think there's people are also punishing Falco even harder now. Mm-hmm. But, um, but the I think it. It's more to do less with the maximum rank that you can get, and but more of the rank that you exist. Mm-hmm. Is so, basically what. So then you would say that there's not there's not a ceiling on the rank any sort of mid tier could get. Uh, maybe hey. there is. If mm-hmm. there is, I don't know. Um, I'm just. Uh, I just think that you can't consist get a rank, and that ultimately is probably what bothers Nintendo more than just the maximum capabilities of this character. Um, Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, I don't want to necessarily say that I'm qualified to speculate on the future of Ice Climbers in the metagame, but I do think (coughs) that a lot of what Nintendo talks about within his blurb, uh, as Kay kind of went into, reflects the character's extremely high variance being frustrating. Take um, take this kid Boogie, for example. I don't think it's a coincidence that he's kind of um, disappeared from the national scene a little bit. And I imagine it must be a ni- mind-numbing experience to go from beating Mewtwo King at a local to losing to an unranked player. Mm-hmm. And that's that's not a shot at this kid Boogie or Ice Climbers players as much as it is just an inherent acknowledgement of the wide despair or the wide range of results that they could get. And honestly, sometimes it's out of their control it's about what the opponent is doing. Mm-hmm. And it speaks multitudes. Intuitively though, um I don't I trust Nintendo's perception of his character given how long he's been how long he's played them for. And intuitively I want to say that as much as Ices might be on a quote unquote downturn. Mm-hmm. I do think they'll be back again at some point in the future and go through a quote unquote high before once again meeting new counterplay and falling off again where we have this discussion one more time mm-hmm. before again arguing in six months whether wobbling should be banned or not. You know? Yeah. I don't I don't want to be too reactionary on the future of ICs in the metagame. I I think they'll always be there. But I think for sh- certain <laughs> that as an extremely high variance character, they will have high highs, extremely low lows, and I, I can't say that Nintendo's, I can't say that he's wrong when he talks about the frustrations he finds with the characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually, yeah, I, I, your kind of theory where ice climbers have like upturns and downturns, I, I definitely really subscribe to that. That as like Chu got really good, more people learned the matchup. So then Chu got worse and worse and worse. And it, I, it's not as it's not completely on uh, the players. Or it, the Chu getting, I, uh, it's not a, a completely about the players around him getting better. Chu also kind of declining his skill. Uh, I, I'd say, but what I subscribe to that belief for ice climbers. But what I'm interested in here, your guys' perspectives on this, because I'm still throwing this around in my head, is we're seeing something. I, I would say very similar going on with Amsa right now, where he's some people have him top seven or eight right now. It's, it's seeing like a very similar like huge rise of taking a bunch of big wins um, out of nowhere. And do you think that this? And I, again, it's really hard to predict the future of another mid tier character like Yoshi. Do you think we're going to see more people like Sfad who are starting to learn the Yoshi matchup, and we're going to see Amsa drop back down to the mid fifteens or twenties again? Or do you think I, uh, Yoshi's is able, Yoshi is able to hold up higher, or Amsa as a person is able to hold up higher than Chu could? Um, uh, well, oh, sorry, Kay, do you want to go? Uh, sure. <coughs> I Well, I'll start this off by saying that I actually disagree that a lot of top players figured out Chu or mm-hmm. have um, like started learning the IC's matchup. I actually think that a lot of the top players know the IC's matchup like extensively. The problem is is not necessarily that I think that they've improved in the match. I mean, they've obviously done like little things here and there. I believe that. But I actually think that nobody has really changed. I just think that's just kind of the nature of the character that that Ice Climbers, because they're inconsistent, you can't always guarantee like a consistent win off of like Fox or or like 
Falcon or characters that have tools that can, that ICs can deal with really well, uh, or it can't deal with very well. So to that extent, I don't think the same really applies to AMSA because I do think that people will learn the Yoshi matchup uh, more and more, and I think time will tell if AMSA declines. But I don't think it'll be in the same it'll be for the same reason that Chu will decline. I think it'll be strictly because people are more familiar with the matchup. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think Chu's decline of performance is more just reflective on just the consistency of the character itself. Oh, by the way, before before I end that note, I see an argument happening in Twitch chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and saying that someone said that the only <laughs> character that Sam struggles against is Falcon. Which is probably, which is a load of bull. <laughs> it's <is> untrue. <laughs> uh, Samus loses 60-40 to like, to like so many characters. Spoken <laughs> and, and like a like true Samus fan. Against like so many mid-tiers for like no reason. <laughs> oh I'm just gonna God. leave it at that and so continue. Hey, you got pulled in. <laughs> oh no, don't feed the trolls. <laughs> yeah. Nobody uh, knows Samus Yoshi except Pugs. <laughs> I want to mention something just more on the note of ICs. Uh, along with Nintendo being fairly negative about the ice climbers, I think another, this is going to sound like an obvious example, but look at infinite numbers. He's, he's rich boy rich now because he, he, he doesn't play the ice climbers anymore in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And I imagine with his frustrations, with Diz saying things or, or basically hinting at liking doubles more than singles now, Combined with Nintendo, <coughs> I think, I think Ice Climbers, just their mains are getting frustrated with the unpredictability of their character, it being out of their control. And I think I, that's a more, I think that's a more definitive thing that I can sort of conclude on versus any of my thoughts about Ice Climbers in the future meta game or whatever. I I will say something. I I agree, by the way, but I will um. Th point out one thing that I think is kind of being slightly overlooked here um, is like okay so one of my favorite Ice Climbers players is Drunk Sloth because I actually think he has a really cool style of playing Ices um, and and if you know the way that so Drunk Sloth recently played against Michael and and you know the way that Michael yeah. plays against floaties, uh -huh. right? And he's not really the only one that does it. He's just the biggest extreme of it. But he just, if any of you are unaware, he purposely times every ICs out in, quote, to quote, make them want to quit the game. And not commenting on that last part, but but it's basically what I'm trying to say. Like, okay, Drunk Sloth hated this, by the way. And pretty much every ICs he's timed out has also expressed great t distaste to this. Dude, bananas like so bananas. Angry, Banana though. was so pissed. <laughs> and and <clears throat> and my point to this is to say that, like, there are more and more people who are just, like, platform camping, like, on Battlefield or whatever character. I mean, I literally platform camp the shit out of every ICs I play in bracket. <laughs> and um, with, like, missiles and shit. Um, and, and I can't imagine that's very fun to play against at all. And to, the only thing you get out of it is kind of like a wobble, which I don't know how much enjoyment like ice climbers <laughs> get out of that. Like a lot of the enjoyment to me, if you get a wobble is like getting a creative grab set up. But if you just hey, like getting tapping at 120 BPM is super fun. What? Very, ha tapping at 120 BPM is super fun. <laughs> I mean, no, no, Loki yeah. actually like. <laughs> I, I, I like. I'm like kind of memeing, but I, I kind of like playing ICs and like casuals and getting a wobble feels nice. But uh, sorry, sorry, to kind of do but yeah, it's, it's 200 BPM by the way. Ah, uh, see, so yeah, you know, I play Falco. I don't know anything. <laughs> well, yeah, but my, my, my point is, is that, I like, uh, someone mentioned earlier, or like someone mentioned in Discord earlier, it was like. A lot of people in the older days played the game because they wanted to be like sick. It was that thing of just being fun, and then it kind of naturally transitioned into like a professional level. And I think for some players like Nintendo, that kind of rings true, where it's just it's harder and harder to play ice climbers and then <coughs> not feel like a the whole world's against you and b 
the whole world is camping top platform against you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then to that point, it's like, it's not very fun anymore. It's like every Fox I played against started laser camping me and camping top platform. I'd probably switch characters too. Wobbles quit melee or quit ice climbers because everybody started camping platform against me. And that's probably what, what Nintendo is feeling right now. Like you can just be a Marth main and then like swing at people and dash back and then get sick grab conversions and be on a highlight reel. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to mention something about Nintendo in particular. I think I, I've talked about this with him before, but I think he sometimes gets unfairly categorized into the quote-unquote wobbler group of Ice Climbers players. If you actually watch Nintendo, he's one of the more aggressive and he was a really strong player even before wobbling became the national standard. He made top 8 at the Big House 3 and beat Pew Pew there. Um, I think he made top 16 at the Big House 4 as well without wobbling just in general uh, big house three no big house three he made top eight i, yeah, I think he yeah. made top 16 at the big house four. Oh, okay okay I, th I think so at least um so if you ever watch him play you'll notice that he kind of chases down his opponent opponents once he gets a read on their movement which is kind of exciting to watch if you if you know what he's going for and i think that's different than a lot of other ICs who sometimes are a little hesitant to engage. And Nintendo is very swingy as well. So. Well, it's not. I mean, yeah, I agree. I think most Ice Climber players, with the exception of maybe like Chu, I actually don't think they're very campy at all. Um, it's just that they really can't approach. Like, they can't approach uh, someone on top platform. Even if they wanted to be aggressive, they can't because it's just so, so, so disadvantaged. So, with that in mind, it's just like. How many more tournaments can you go to when you're just entering just so you could be camped out? It's probably not an entertaining feeling. And it's probably also like I can't imagine how much flack he got after he like wobbled Muta King out of Genesis 3. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of kind of seeing like all these ice climbers give up on it. Do you think we're we're going to have like what happens where all these ice climbers disappear and then there's only a few around and maybe like some that dominate local scenes and then people kind of forget, quote unquote, forget how to play the ICs matchup and then we see like Chu come back and being top 10 again because people haven't played him in a while and then the whole I cycle mean... starts again. Do you think that, that I, I mean, I, I think I could totally see that happening. Like, people aren't, won't be prepared for it because everyone gives up, and then people start laming them out again, and then we're kind of, like, in a whole cyclical nature. Or Listen, even... save. Yeah. Oh, oh. Listen, save. <laughs> no one will ever forget the day the ICs <laughs> swore the world on fire. <laughs> Nobody will ever forget the matchup. <laughs> Everybody will write guides to make sure not to... No such horror ever happens again. <laughs> you want to know what will happen? People, I see people still wobble people. They still get victories. It, yeah. Uh, there, there are three certainties <coughs> in this world. Death, I, save uh, shitting on Eichelman. <laughs> Ice climbers. <laughs> so you don't see... I mean, honestly, is, is it really that big of a deal? I mean, Nintendo's playing Marth. If he's playing, if he's playing against Shut Fox, Chicago, that's basically like playing ice climbers, right? No, uh, like no, not I mean, at yeah. all. No, that is, yeah, that's yeah. not how that works. Yeah, it's totally like that. You know, Martha's dumb, dude. <laughs> oh, he's very dumb. I get Fox and Taco, dude. I, I live, I live on that shit every day. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should move on. To this topic. <laughs> yeah, uh, just think... kind of one, one more thing in this realm. It will probably be a quick like no from you guys. Do you see this happening with any other of these characters? No. That, uh, you don't see it with Falcon, Pikachu, Samus, no. Yoshi, Luigi? No, I, I doubt it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Do you uh, think just it's... to go back to my original... Well, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if... Like, I think it rings more and more true for Pikachu... Well, I was going to say Pikachu mains because it's kind of happening to Axe right now, but just in mid-tier mains in general, just because it's so easy to hit that wall mm -hmm. with mid-tier mains much sooner and far more frequently than you do with like top tier. So I, I definitely think we'll see a lot more people just like eventually switching characters. Um, and I think the main thing stopping a, a lot of people from switching characters is because they can't. 
and they or they don't want to make that commitment or sacrifice that a lot of people who have switched off characters have. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if more people were willing to take that risk, we'd see a lot more of a darker future for mid tier <laughs> mains. And that's basically my view. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think in terms of variance, ice climbers are about as high variance as you can get, right? So it it feels almost kind of weird to compare them to other mid tier mains or even lower high tier character. Mm -hmm. I just think by ICs by virtue are such a I don't want to call them a gimmick character, but No, um, yeah, I think they're kind of kinda, a gimmick yeah. character. Yeah. And they're they're definitely more gimmicky than any PM character. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about PM we already got Europe mad at us last week. Let's not get the PM I came from the PM scene, so it's alright. Yeah. Anyway, oh, okay. so big big fat foodie said something about is it really happening to Axe or is he just kind of a little of both. He, I think he said for a while now that he's kind of, or he's hinted either through other people. I don't know if he's ever said it on stream, but I, but a lot of people who kind of talked to him or have uh, known that he's always a bit hesitant on playing Pikachu, and the main thing stopping him is that he's not really confident on his other characters yet to perform on the same level, and that level being like top ten in the world. Um, and, and you can kind of tell because he's always on Twitter asking, "Oh, should I stay Pikachu? Should I go Falco? Should I go secondaries?" <laughs> like he's always like that on Twitter, and and, and I really don't blame him. He sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and, so um, I I think that might happen, mm -hmm. but that's like a whole different topic. I just yeah. wanted to address that mm -hmm. thing on the chat real quick. So we should probably move on. Oh, Wait, yeah, yeah. one one thing oh. with Axe. One thing with Axe before we move on is just he always goes through these brief peaks and then low valleys and then back to it's it's not as extreme as ice climbers but just whenever axe going through the motions of oh is my character good enough should i play a secondary i'm not i'm not gonna read too much into it because mm. when he's doing well um we'll start talking about that when he does he does badly it'll, it'll he'll be saying the same thing and uh yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. basically all I have to say on it. I don't think there's anything to extract. Okay. Oh, one. Uh, okay, I we said like one last. Yeah, no, 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 no. Keep on going. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just say once. It in terms of the future of ICs as, um, uh, as a character in the future and the rele relevancy in the metagame, I'd be actually very interested to see if any like ice climbers, like maybe even Nintendo, like dual mains ice climbers, and then save Sheik or. Ice climbers for the Sheik or Pikachu matchup because hmm. that's I actually think like ice climbers will <laughs> will be very uh, good in and I think that that's kind of a good investment maybe not against Sheik because Sheiks are starting to learn that matchup a bit more but we'll see another ridiculous but... counter pick war of like uh, Mutating versus <laughs> Chu where we're seeing well, was it like Ganon versus Fox on FD Ganon Ganon versus oh, Fox yeah. that yeah, was very yeah, unfortunate that was at the same time one of the best and worst sets I've ever seen in my entire life it was just such sloppy melee because they were thinking about counter picks and it's kind of like what what Andy was talking about Armada versus Mango last week about the counter pick war creating for sloppy melee mm -hmm. but with Chu and Mewtwo King is just on such a low and <laughs> just frankly speaking. <laughs> I don't want to. Mm. I, I I do find it kind of refreshing that the, you're just like yeah I've seen people play at that level and like friendlies at a local like I've seen that melee before it, it's kind of endearing but at the same time kind of sad that our best players are playing like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's really my <laughs> Edwin, do you wanna do you wanna transition us over to nudes, nudes, nudes? What's the next topic? Oh, nudes, 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 nudes. nudes. right. Okay, right. so the first thing I want to say is that it's really cool that West Balls did well. It's <sighs> good for him that he got third, but I don't want people to overreact. He beat Troomed, and he beat Wizzy twice. One of those times that he beat Wizzy was because Wizzy messed up a tech chase in SD. So, this... Hey, a win's a win, win Edwin. So, hold on, let, let me finish. <coughs> so I consider this a really strong performance from West Balls, but it's at the top of his skill range, so he didn't exceed expectations for mm -hmm. me. Yeah, so but I'm going to talk about what Wes needs to do to regain any sort of confidence or any sort of upper trend. Mm -hmm. He needs to go back to beating Fox and Falco all the time, specifically Fox. I remember when Wes used to, Wes's punish game in that matchup used to look, look like a guarantee. He, he looked like a genuine threat to take down Leffen and even take down Mango. Now, I haven't seen him versus Mango in a really long time, so 
I can't say how their matchup against each other would look. But during the during the sets against uh, Leffen, Leffen just looks frankly much better as a player, and I actually think Wes is a pretty big underdog against him. And I don't I don't necessarily uh, trust Wes that much against Lucky, or and I barely trust him against Espad. I I don't trust him that much against Crush either. I just think uh, that the Fox matchup used to be one that we saw Wes is really strong in, and that's changed a lot over the last year. So if he can go back to looking great in that set or in that matchup, I think it would help him. If he doesn't drop sets to K-Pan and Ginger, that would help him as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least he beat Shrooms. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. I, I've but, got yeah, Alan, yeah. Basically my... Alan got ninth at this tournament? What? Alan got ninth at this tournament? What the fuck? <laughs> Edwin, kind of, kind of. Uh, oh my god! Oh my uh, god! <laughs> okay, okay, he okay, he beat like. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Rymo right. and right. Dip- he beat Azul, Diplomatic Toucan, and Rymo to get there. Yeah, I I know it's like kind of weird just because I was I was looking at Crunch and I was like, how the fuck did Crunch get thirteenth? And then I looked at Alan. <laughs> Dude, Alan's a god. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah. And, yes. So uh, go back. Oh, sorry. Were you about to? Say yeah, something? I was gonna say like because this week like coming out on Thursday, not to self shield myself, but I'm gonna be doing a video on West Balls and like his his recent failings and what you can see, I think through the data that shows up of, like, the kind of people that West Balls is uh, losing to, I don't think... I mean, West Balls has kind of gotten worse, but I think what's really happening is he is... And, and you can kind of see in his playstyle, and a lot of people who are commenting on, like, his playstyle not evolving, I think West Balls, West Balls has just been stagnant. Like, he hasn't been getting worse, but he hasn't been getting better. And we see all these up-and-coming... We see Zane, Ginger beating him, like... Uh, all the the new guard of melee is is passing him, and he's he's not doing anything about it. Like he's he's not not looking as good as in the fox matchup. I think like and looking more, maybe I can pull up the graphic. I have it like partially made, but the the people that West Balls is losing to are like the new guard of melee, the crushes, the zanes, the gingers. I think West Balls has just been staying in place, and everyone is just coming past him, and he he hasn't done anything to catch up. Yeah, I mean, as as it turns out, you can't AC back air, crouch, and up tilt in place, and <laughs> do unsafe shield pressure in today's metagame. Uh, well, maybe crouch. Well, maybe cr- crouch is crouch is very good, but it turns out to be a top ten player, you, you need a little <coughs> bit of that. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, people people are improving, but I actually don't think that many people. Have, I mean, sure, he's not. He's not part of the top 10. He might be fringe top 20, but I think we're kind of overstating how much he moved. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I mentioned Ginger. I mean, he's still, like, top 30, barely. And I don't think he's passing West Falls anytime soon. He mm-hmm. does not have that No, I don't think so. Either. He doesn't have that um, same consistency. Uh, like, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's just, I think West Falls... It's clear that it's not just a slump, and that it definitely needs a change. So, oh, oh, nice graphic. <laughs> definitely oh, yeah. needs a change in uh, in terms of um, adapting. But I don't think it's anything necessarily to worry about. And um, yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I guess I don't really. I guess I don't really have much to say on West Balls' front. I guess I nothing... think. Uh, I think one thing I'll say from at least from the eye test perspective is that. Uh, well, I do attribute his second set to a few fluky situations that were out of his control. Mainly, was Robe literally SDing mid tech mid tech chase? I yeah. <laughs> I think by the eye test, he has shown a a lot more variability, or not variability, a lot more versatility in his gameplay. Mm-hmm. He picked his spots a little more carefully against Wizro. He lasered a lot more. Um, Obviously, I, I don't want to get too much into psychoanalysis, but he definitely looked more composed during some of his, some of his sets when he was down. Um, he beat Shroomed really badly. That that might just be Shroomed playing not up to par, mm. but that definitely impressed me from Wes. I think, just in general, I, I think he has been making improvements to his game. It's just mm-hmm. it's just really hard to be in the top ten in 2018, dude. There's there's so much talent. Yeah. I would agree. Nick, can I change the topics real quick? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, there's two things I want to talk about, all both stemming from the same set. Rocky versus the La Luna. And uh, one, <laughs> Rocky, by the stocks. He's improving really good, fast. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and that guy's and, really good. And, and Luna, maybe sell the socks. <laughs> <laughs> sell the socks. I, I got rid of La Luna since he started. Since the since the whole like ever since his Mexico obsession oh, on the rise, I've been selling La Luna stocks like crazy, dude. <laughs> That guy's been on such a dec- he had a good genesis to to be fair to him i i think for once remember. yeah he, he, he actually made out of pools and genesis for once. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look, this dude what's he doing he's talk. he's become a melee flat earther talking about <laughs> fandom hits on twitter what's going on with him that pissed me off so much dude okay i i, I oh, do wow. like the luna a bit but okay everybody in chat like before oh you do anything, just go on uh, Laluna's Twitter profile, and under his location, it'll say Mexico as one of his locations. <laughs> <laughs> I, think oh, that's, that's I gotta, I gotta pull this up. I, I like, I know it's there, but like looking at it just makes me sad. We just, we just so... need the moon back. The moon would do great right now. La Luna sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the moon, great player. La Luna, absolute garbage. You know, the, the thing that strikes me about, like, him in particular is this this could have been a really good chance for him to show that he was still good in, in, in matchups that people expect him to do well. And he, he lost to S-Fat. Like, S-Fat is a, good, is a great player, obviously. Losing to him is not a big deal. Even losing to Rocky isn't, isn't that bad on someone because Rocky's gotten a lot better. He's an improving force. But those are two matchups that people think of him <laughs> very highly in. For, like, that's his chance to show people, like, Hey, I'm back. I'm not distracted by all the Mexico stuff and and tweeting about UCF or whatever. It's like no, he he just loses those sets. <laughs> oh God, stop, stop. <laughs> <Leave> <laughs> <my name. laughs> okay. It's just like this guy now. Now he's talking about phantom hits. He's talking about UCF causing them. It's so dumb. <laughs> he's like he's like. Isn't isn't he's like I'm not saying that UCF caused them, but I think UCF is causing them. <laughs> if, you think, if you think his Twitter's bad, you got to see his Facebook, dude. It's it's not pretty. <laughs> oh God. I'm glad we're roasting someone else other than Eichelman. This makes me feel good. Uh, okay. I I want to bring up one one thing. Mm -hmm. What's up with S Fat losing to Wizzy? I I gotta watch those sets a little more carefully, but every time I watch it, it feels like S Fat starts off really well. And then Wizzy makes some adjustment that gets him more grabs, and he just destroys him. And okay, I don't know S what it is. S Fat versus Wizzy is so. For the record, if I I, I like Wizzy more, so I'm kind of glad he's on the streak. Um, but I really don't understand like what's really going on because I think Fox Falcon really sucks for Falcon. Not as bad as Falco, and I and it's certainly not unwinnable by any means, but it's not a good matchup. But the fact that, you know, Wizzy can, like, lose to Chillin' Dude, L, RK, and, like, these foxes, but consistently, like, shit <laughs> on SVAT is, like, I, I, I can't wrap my head around it, <laughs> you know? You know what's crazy about it? SVAT plays S2J so much. Yeah, and he's not bad <laughs> against S2J. <laughs> I think he... I'm pretty sure he wins the majority of his sets against SUJ. Just for whatever reason, I, I think Wizzy just has him on lockdown. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean Wizzy's just that much better of a player, you know? No, I mean, his 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 punish game is a lot more suited towards Spacey's. Like, his punish yeah, game is a lot more consistent against Spacey's. But, like, when you kind of look at the stats and everything, and when you kind of, like, look at it in the larger picture... It, it's just a little bit confusing. Like, when's the last has? Okay, here's the question: Has Esfet ever beaten Wizzy? He probably. No, I, has, I, right? I think he. I think he has in like mid 2016 or something. But I think 2017 onward, Wizzy has just had his number. Yeah, exactly. Know. Like it's crazy. I just don't. It's like I. If I had to come up with some, it's just that Wizzy's tech chase game is inherently far more consistent. Um, than whatever punish game S2J has, but I mean, it still doesn't explain why he's shitting on him so bad. I think Wizzy picks his spots better than I think S2J has a little more like 
balance in his gameplay. But I think he's willing to more he's willing to engage on Sfat's turn a little more, if I were to guess. Whereas I think Wizzy, uh, I think Wizzy is a better decision maker against Sfat. And that's kind of one area I, I've talked about this with Sfat before, where he find and Ambi mentioned it last week about Sfat having very few moving parts and his solutions to problems. Yeah, as I agree with that. Them. And I think that kind of plays into, I think Wizrobe is at a certain level where not only does he have the tech skill needed to be an elite player, but he, but you can't really leverage decision making over him because he's, because he's so, he's so clean in his play and, and so meticulous. Like in, in order to beat Wizrobe, I feel like you, like, you, you know who I think would actually do better against Wizrobe than Sfat? I don't think this is a hot take, but I would almost trust Cobol instead of, over S fat versus. I don't Luke. think that's a hot take. Yeah, no. All right, you think that's a all right? That is a genuine. Or, or it, it, it's not a hot take among us. It might be a hot take on the general public. But if anybody sees like Cobal stats against Gatsu, Ooh, <laughs> I think yeah, I, yeah. yeah I, I, do, I just based on that alone, I th- and and Gatsu's style is actually not that d- too dissimilar to Wizzy's. Wizzy's is a lot more in a, of an extreme style, but Gatsu's probably closer to Wizzy than he is to SUJ. So, the, and the fact that Cobalt just like routinely shits on Gatsu, would I count on him to consistently beat Wizzy? No. No, probably but, not. But, but I would definitely favor him more against Wizzy than Esfet at this point, just because just the level that he gets shit on and how frequently Esfet gets shit on is, is remarkable. Bizarre. <laughs> Dude, it's like, it's like he'll start off a set looking good, and then just something happens in the middle of it where Wizardrobe's like, "This is how I will get a grab," and there is nothing you can do about it. And that's Cobalt just like, beat Wizzy in their last set at CO. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, he, no, he beat him at Famic or not Famicon at Momocon, I think. Momocon? I don't, I don't remember that tournament that at all. That sounds. Is that the one where is that? Is Momocon the one where Moon like? Like got smoked. yeah, Moon lost to Smash Bob Squarepants, a <laughs> Summit, <laughs> who is running for Summit, and, and Dublat, right? Yeah, and Dublat as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Who would you? Okay. Who would you trust against more? Sfat or Ryan Ford? Is this the game now? Trust against Falcon uh, <laughs> No, uh, Wizzy, not Falcon. Yeah, Sfat's fine against the other Falcon. I mean, like Wizzy, Wizzy. I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's Smuckers that's or Sfat person. I mean, I, I'd like to see Ryan succeed more. I think it's like I we, I want to see Ryan versus Axe again. I, I want to see that Doc on Axe. Like completely, for, <laughs> everybody forgot that happened. <laughs> Wait, hey, I I asked this before, but I'm gonna ask again: Smuckers versus Wizrobe or Sfat versus Wizrobe? <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't um... know actually. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think they'd both get fucked, dude. I think I'd give Sfat the benefit of the doubt there. Yeah. <laughs> like, about, you know who I want to see? I want to see Hacks versus Wizrobe, dude. Can you imagine mm-hmm. two completely non-interactive, like, <laughs> play styles against each Cobalt other? Cobalt is the least consistent player in the world. Yeah, I think if you lose to the Asian one, you've officially lost any yeah, part that's... to call yourself <laughs> consistent. Sorry, sorry, sorry Asian one. <laughs> I'm sure you're a good guy and a solid player in your own right, but yeah. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, we should probably move on from that topic. Uh, Do you want to go on to Plup versus A? Is there anything to say about Plup vs Hbox? Uh, okay. Just one thing sadness. I will say before one thing I will say before any of that is that um, uh, I guess this is we should probably like relish this appearance of zoo while we can because he probably won't enter another tournament for like half a year but um i guess there's not really much to say he lost to spark which isn't super surprising and then he beat arcadia wavebringer crunch and then lost to wizard he got 3-0 which i didn't expect and i don't know it's it's been a while since Zoo's yeah, been yeah no, I'm not surprised. and then and then uh kalamazoo got ninth alibi or al or however that word uh uh, getting it that way through beating uh, Remo in winners, but honestly, Kalamazoo has been playing really well this year. Mm-hmm. He beat uh, Mango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to Plum <laughs> <laughs> That's one way the transition is <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so... Um, so this reminds me of... So, Plup and Hungrybox reminds me of sort of like Armada and Leffen. And like, remember when Armada was like coming back and he was like playing Fox against Leffen? Like, I don't, I think it was like Beast 3 or 4, no, it was Beast 4 or something. Yeah, where, Beast 4, I think. Where, or like Republic of Fighters 3, where, where, where Armada like fucked him up in when oh, it yeah. so like it was 3 yeah, no, it, was it, was, it was Republic of yeah. Fighters 3. It was Republic of Fighters 3. Where, he owed him and then, yeah. uh, and then, and then got, and, and then, him. yeah, he destroyed him. It's like the exact, like, that's what kind of reminds me right now. Like, Plop is sort of the Armada right now, and then, like, H-Box is the Leffen. He's like, H-Box still has Plop's number, mm -hmm. but Plop will show flashes of brilliance and, like, adaptation, uh, like, to show his, like, answer to H-Box. Mm -hmm. But then H-Box will come back and, like, yeah. fuck him. I mean, to be fair, Armada turn. Armada did turn positive. Is is still positive career on Leffen mm. overall? So, to be I mean, fair. yeah, but yeah. I mean, at that point, like there was yeah. also that point where it was just like Leffen just did not play. But ever since like Republic of Fighters three, around that time, or when, or, yeah, or no, maybe no, even Big House four, yeah. like Leffen was just had is I think had the positive record on Armada since then, and that's kind of like reminds me of the relationship. And that's how I would kind of like bet on them at the moment. Is that I'd probably bet on HBox, but it wouldn't shock me if either destroyed the other. I just expect HBox to do it more frequently. Yeah. Dude, I I just want to say in the winner's final set, Plub played so good. Oh my, I couldn't tell whether HBox was playing like trash or not, but I can tell you that Plub, that guy was moving. He was grooving. He was he was on platforms, he was on the ground, he was dash dancing, shooting lasers, uh, kicking H-Box over and over again, grabbing mm -hmm. him. That was that was a fa that was yeah. such a fantastic uh, just display of Fox Puff or at mm -hmm. least from the Fox side. I I can't yeah. say I can't I couldn't tell whether H-Box was playing bad or not cuz Plop was just putting so much pressure on him and I I couldn't believe that H-Box came back and just dominated him. I I was fun. so confused cuz I I was like I was doing something else and then I saw that Plup 3 0 Hungry Hungrybox, and then I went and I watched the the two grand final sets, and I was I was so confused that they were the sets were going that way. Plup kept on giving up leads. Like I I, I can't believe that that the same guy who 3 0 Hungry Hungrybox a couple of sets before that was was now getting destroyed and giving up those huge leads. It was it was honestly just so depressing to watch, but also. <laughs> No, yes. no, the depressing the watch. No, the, I agree. The, the I, same I don't guy think anybody in this chat disagrees. Yeah. And the the fact that I I is is Hungerbox is such a great villain because he he's his I uh sorry so I'm just getting so just it's insane how he's That's able a to bring back. Different topic entirely. Yeah, like, yeah no. like, Edwin is, can bring up another. How good, good of a game. villain is Hungerbox? Yeah, but it, it's so. I'm not gonna say anything here. Yeah. <laughs> Nope. It's so not insane all, how he's able to consistently be so clutch and bring that stuff back. He is he's such an amazing player. Like he is Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And like like there's that uh, recent post, not that this is sort of relevant to his well, I guess it's relevant to his legacy as a whole, where between him and Armada, the uh, events that they both attended, there's only been five in the last... How many years was it? Uh, since EVO 2015. That uh, there's only been five events that both when Hungrybox and Armada were there that someone else won, and three of them were Mango. Just the level of consistency that he is able to put up, I, I just... It's, it's insane. And he's just too good. Hungrybox is too good. There's something I want to say about a uh, Hbox being a villain. It kind of reminds me of a. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh wow! No, you can't hear everyone else it. in the <laughs> podcast anymore. <laughs> oh, the stream no. stopped running. And, and this is why you fall for you fell for Andy. <laughs> no, no, no! Just let me, please. I have to. So, if any of you have seen Suicide Squad by any chance, oh my god! No, no. Oh. If, if you've seen Jared Leto's. Uh, if you've seen his Joker, it's it's a really bad Joker, and it's a bad Joker because it's unsatisfying. It's like a it's like a weird, internet trolley version of the Joker that's trying to be a Heath Ledger or that's trying to be an edgy Joker, and that's kind of what that's kind of what H Box's whole like quote unquote villain persona reminds me of. He he knows he has to play the villain, but 
his persona also is kind is of he, him is he done <laughs> wanting community, the community to embrace him <coughs> he's a great villain because he's a shitty villain and that makes us all upset that's my theory so, so fight pit <laughs> <laughs> I, no Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna counterpoint that. I don't think he's that bad of a villain. I he's, think no, I'm saying he's a great villain because, because he's, he's a the villain that he's, we, because what? we want him to be so much worse. Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, oh, no, 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 no. I just wanna, I just wanna bring up something. Ambi, you're not fucking safe. <laughs> you will always be associated with that. You're not escaping just because Edwin I'm is you the, the dealing with thunder. Apparently, no Joker. That is H Fox. <laughs> oh God, I hate this so uh, much. What are we? Some sort of melee stats podcast? I I hate you, Guys, Edwin. Let's talk about Sound Inspector. Yeah, oh, he came to the four forty for Sound Inspector, dude. Yeah, that that beat a Paco. That um, plump set for yeah. Sound Inspector was so sad. Oh man. <laughs> so okay, so we should probably just move on. Like, yeah, is, is there anything There's else you guys? Much to say, yeah, this was basically just a glorified NorCal tournament. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about like the like? What about the potential? Like, do you have your thoughts on ESA changed at all? Like, nope. <laughs> nope. Um, do you want to go so, on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm I don't not really have any, so I want to. Yeah, I'm not on. familiar oh. with your. E could you could you give like a little background to ESA and then your thoughts on it, kind of? Um, there is no background, and that's <laughs> the big thing about you say. <laughs> you know, they've done a they've done a very bad job on that front, and so far, the only two nudes nudes tournaments that I've seen have basically just featured Cali players, and I think that says a lot. <laughs> and, and Jared Leto, I mean H Box. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> also, we, we talked about it in the pre-show, but I'd also want to bring up that I hate the name Nudes, Nudes, Nudes. For, for a community of esports that we're trying at every corner to get the least bit of validity that we can, when we have a big tournament called Nudes, 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 it doesn't help us at all. It's, it's, it's almost as bad as one of Edwin's analogies. Not that bad. But it's it's Hold pretty on. it's pretty bad. What, what was wrong with my my whole thing? Okay, <laughs> no, 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 we'll, we'll kill this. We'll burn it. We do not bring me bring this back. To wait, the, okay. wait, wait. We're we're killing. Or would it be us killing it? Would it be some? We would be a squad of people killing it ourselves. <laughs> so would you would you hypothetically call us a suicide squad? Oh my god. <laughs> so, okay, so that's uh, that's. That's not even a dad joke, dude. I That's think, a D1 I, I joke. honestly am a little disappointed almost because I thought, like, Nudes, 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 the name of that tournament was just going to be, like, one tournament. Yeah, and since, yeah, like, yeah. Not many yeah, people, exactly. And not, since not many people went to it, I thought it was like, okay, that's fine. But now that it's, like, a series, I I feel, like, legitimately threatened. <laughs> like, by this, by this wave of tournaments <laughs> named Nudes, Nudes. I've said this from the beginning, but I, I hate tell, asking people, hey, did you hear what happened at Nudes, Nudes, Nudes? And then they look at me and they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> and, I, and, and that situation has happened to me. And then I stopped myself and was like having a bit of an existential like, thought about what we've really come to. It's, I just it's... want mango juice already. I don't want another nudes nudes. <laughs> All right. I, I want I... mango juice where mango doesn't get like seventeenth place. That's not gonna okay. happen. You're not yeah. Gonna anyway. Happen. Yeah. We should probably move on. To okay. The... Yeah. So you guys want to bounce over to uh, fight pit? Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about rich boy rich. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you guys don't know who Rich Boy Rich is, if you look through the five pit bracket, that is infinite numbers, but actually his fox. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, he's doing well, much to my dismay. <laughs> <laughs> he beat ambiguously Polish, beat the great Santiago, who's here earlier, actually. I saw him in chat. Um, and. Uh, and he, oh, he didn't. He didn't he, beat Santi. He lost, the, or did he beat him in losers? No, he he lost to Santi. Oh, okay. Yeah, I and, thought he said he beat uh, him. I was like, I, I oh, that did, seems did like something. Did I say that? Oh, yeah. my bad. Uh, he beat Cobb, which surprised me. Um, and then he lost to Slug, which I think is ironic. But <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw him getting wobbled and just thought it was so beautiful. It's so tragic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh uh, the biggest upset of the tournament: the Wanderer over Cool Lime. 
<laughs> that is way too recording. obscure for like 90% of the people who are going to watch this. <laughs> that, I mean, that's what you get when you watch Melee Stats. I mean, that's we gotta we gotta have some like gimmick that we can draw viewers. Oh, the gimmick of <laughs> scaring our some... entire audience away for not knowing about what players we're talking about. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> okay, we talked about Absent Page already last week, but were any of us surprised by him beating Junebug or no? Not, I, I wasn't. Really... Not at all. Absent Page um, is a fantastic just player. Another name on his resume, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's not. I'm gonna <coughs> say I'm gonna. I, I'm not surprised. But it was a set where I wanted it to happen because it was like these two rising stars from like two different regions, and I wanted to see like what would happen if those two met in bracket. And I'm glad it happened because uh, I wasn't sure who would win, and now and now I know. So <laughs> <laughs> and Ashton Page almost beat Santi, which mm -hmm. I don't know how surprised I should should be by that, because I guess he did lose to uh, Bobby Cruz a long time ago, and he says, he says he has a bit of a Fox problem, so I don't know oh, how much I believe that's that. Tough. But... That's tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's going to affect you in the long run. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, Millhouse Mil continuing that trend of just being good enough where he's like a good player, but where he, Melhouse is continuing that trend where he's good enough where people, if they beat him, saying like, oh, I beat Melhouse, but not good enough for anybody to remember who he is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's just the sad thing, because I always feel sad for Melhouse, because he'll be, only be known for those two things, the other thing being the Netplay Lord. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, Calvar went to completely missed that. Uh, Tien, yeah, T I think you, you mentioned Melhouse before it. I forget the context right now, but yeah, Tian, Tian got ninth at this tournament, the creator of Grimier Godlike himself. So mm -hmm. shout out to Tian, doing well. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, let's see. Um, and Polish had a run. Like, nobody, I, I wanted to highlight that because he beat, <laughs> he beat Bobby Big Boss. Um, he beat Big. Jerb, and then he beat Connor. It was like, I was pretty surprised by that run. He got, he got top eight. <laughs> Yeah, he got 3 0 by Absent Page, though, well, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, that was... big shocker right there. Yeah. <laughs> Absent Page is good. <laughs> yeah. um, Man, if Absent, uh, Page, if Absent Page beat Santi in winners, uh, we would have had the run back of Absent, Absent Page Lodge becoming like a low key, fun, fun, fun rivalry. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. we, would, and we might have had Absent Page Cobol, and I think Absent Page can win that. And I think anyone reasonable would think he could. Yeah. Win. Um, I really think. Oh, so let's like... oh yeah. I, I really think Absent Page. I was just gonna oh, say. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah just, okay. Just, yeah. Just I, I really think Absent Page. I mean, this is probably kind of just preaching to the choir here and kind of saying it, something everyone's thinking. I really think he's gonna be like this year's. Even though he he played really great this year. I mean, last year. I think he's gonna be this year's like Zane or Ginger story, where he makes a huge jump. I don't think he'll he'll. I think he'll land more of near the ginger kind of jump, not the huge jump that Zane made. But I think Absent Page is definitely the the ginger slash Zane story of this year. And I think we're just gonna I see him take more and more wins. Yeah. Like right now, I someone just linked me something he has Ryan Ford, Gatsu, L, Rick, Lod, and June so far this year, which is it's six six wins already in four quiet months is insane. Ah, uh, brought it uh yeah, and it, is, um, uh, it also says his worst loss is Lod, uh, lost to Sfat, Amsa, Santi, and Ginger. Like that's that's an amazing resume so far. Yeah, that's a pretty good resume. To be fair, he also lives in a free-ish region, so that kind of helps mm -hmm. in terms of just having a, a spotless record. Um, uh, seriously, doubt Absent Page crosses KJH Cyrox tier of box players. Would I seriously doubt that? I don't know. Um, I don't think he's favored. I wouldn't be surprised if Absent Page drops off either, because I think that's kind of like the nature of the consistency of Fox players. Because like a lot of people know the Fox matchup, but not a lot of people know how to deal with Dashback Marth. <laughs> so, um, so, and, and, so just just with that, I wouldn't be surprised if he. I wouldn't be surprised if he reached Ginger levels of like mm. where he is right now. Um, yeah. 
by the end of the year. Would he pass KJH or that level by the end of the year? I don't know. I think he'll That's still lose to a lot of boxes. Yeah, no. I think I think he'll get dicked by Samus. Uh, I think he'll <laughs> no bias though. What? No bias is the Samus man though. No bias. <laughs> no, I, I just think that we say this all the time about rising players. All 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 it takes is two or three bad performances before someone else comes comes mm. to the light and we start hyping them up. Got about absent page. Okay. Yeah. So to be I'm fair. gonna hold. I'm gonna hold off about him being KJH or Cyrox level. But I, I think he could definitely get to the top fifty. By yeah, the end of the I, year. I, de- I definitely like. I think, I, I would, I would say like wholeheartedly that he's probably going to be top fifty, like from from the trend and what he has so far. Like I, I'm probably going to put him top fifty at the end of the year. Okay, I mean okay. it's. Still, yeah, well, it's yeah, no, I'm not. A, four months, yeah, so let's not. Yeah, no, no, but like if this trend continues, and I believe seeing what we've seen from Absent Page so far, that I wouldn't be surprised if he. Yeah, like I wouldn't be surprised if he. 50. Right, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets top fifty either, unless he like super drops off by the end of the year. In fact, if he just stopped going to shit, <laughs> like yeah. now, yeah, he, I think he would have a reason. Team on Chico got mentions, yeah. dude, and the yeah. inactive, the not enough data. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Oh, well, anyway, um, it, uh, yeah. Anyway, we should probably move on to something else. Callball is back to winning or not like choking again. I also want to highlight that uh, that cop tied with Kanye West, the Lake, Benji Lamar, <laughs> and got outplaced by Milhouse and Tian. <laughs> oh, I'm also disappointed that Bomb Mom didn't show up. I was really hoping he would be like big. This. Yeah, I I I forget who said it, but I I could have seen him beating a bait. Bomb Mom's yeah. hella good. Um, I could have seen it. I I didn't really. I wouldn't bet it. For him though because it's luigi so you that's one matchup as fox that you kind of need to know then make it up as you go so mm-hmm. and there's like there's no more luigi's in mbba so uh what'd you guys think of carol fendi commentary i didn't listen to fight pit at all i was too busy doing work <laughs> how, i i didn't hear it either how how can you give us like a brief summary of like what what was it like <laughs> So, because uh, I've heard a so little I bit it, about I it, I found yeah. it very entertaining at moments. Uh, other time, you, it's very easy to pick up on Fendi's discomfort with Carol's whole whole brand of being irreverent and not the swearing thing. I I don't think that threw Fendi off. I just think Carol's whole sense of humor and absurdity sometimes threw Fendi in for a loop, and you could tell he was very discomfort. Or he, you could tell he was very uncomfortable, but it made for a few entertaining moments. Mm-hmm. Other times, kind of eye rolly, but or eye eye roll worthy. But overall, I would say it was it was definitely an interesting experience to hear someone that many people associate with esports in a non esports atmosphere with a guy like Carol who is so hey everyone, I'm Patrick Patrick Lamar here to bring you another exciting topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two very different extremes it's it's cool seeing fendi a little more laid back mm-hmm. and it's funny seeing him interact with someone who is the epitome of not giving a fuck mm-hmm. or at least presenting himself as not giving a fuck yeah. carol yeah well seeing as i actually cannot add to that yeah. <laughs> conversation at all because i didn't hear it i should probably look through the vods later if i have time which i probably don't but <laughs> um uh, carol, it... there's one point where i I don't know if I can say this on save stream. Uh, yeah, I, one point I think I know what Carol... you're talking about. <laughs> you there's, should probably There's one point not. where Carol says a sequence of words. Uh, he says a sequence of two words in particular, like, three times over and over again. Uh, and and both of, one of them begins with G, and the other one begins with R. And he just says them over and over. I, I, oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm not misremembering yeah, it, because I checked with Bendy afterward. But, yeah, it was... Definitely caught me completely off guard while watching the stream, but I guess that's fight fight pit. You know, I, I can't be too mad. That's mm-hmm. that's how they market the event. <laughs> I get a screenshot of this peerless so I know who not to associate with. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah. Continue. 
Yeah, No Fox 2 is a top five combo video of all time. Hell yeah, dude, the whole No Fox series is sick. <laughs> all, of all, all of Carol's combo videos are actually straight fire. I've never seen like a consistently amazing combo video series since Lord. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I agree. So don't let Edwin talk about combo. You're right, all right, <laughs> okay. Do you, do you guys have anything else you'd want to talk about with Fight Fit 8? Because, I, I mean, I, I didn't watch most of it, so I, I'm um, kind of only going off what you guys have. Um, Lot is good. I, I, uh, yeah, Lot is good. Cobalt beat him, which is, I'm happy to see Cobalt not, like, be inconsistent and shit. Because um, there was a lot of people who could have potentially beaten him here. Um, just based off of the Asian one. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, not potentially being a very loose word I use there. Obviously, I think he was pretty favored to get like top three. Um, uh, I'm I'm interested that Santi actually traveled to something, um, and like to fight pit, <laughs> you know, because mm -hmm. um, like he do, he's known as that guy who doesn't really travel. He just like goes to the big West Coast tournaments that are kind of in region, and then here he actually took a flight to. Uh, fight pit, which is not a big <laughs> And so I think that's a pretty cool sign that we might start seeing more and more. Mm -hmm. Because I he think... He got beat, beat up by Lod so bad. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got double it, eliminated by Lod. Feels bad. It didn't look close. Yeah. Was... Okay, that's all for Fight Pit. You guys okay, want yeah, to talk? Umbreon yeah. Mao! That's a name I haven't heard for in forever. <laughs> Umbreon, oh my god. Umbreon <laughs> Mao! Get uh, out of here, dude. It, you know, everybody read that fucking um, drastic improvement uh, thread on Smash 4. Uh, which is actually a great thread, by the way. So no, I, I it's, 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 there's a few <laughs> things that I, that are wrong with it that I... I mean, I've talked to Umbreon Ma Mao for like two years because he literally only posted on the Project M boards and I only posted on the Project M boards, so... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're posting yeah. Degenerate. The PM <laughs> boards on Reddit? What's I, next? No, not Reddit. No, this was Smashboards, dude. No, no, this was Smashboards, but it was on the... It was there on the PM. nothing wrong with Smashboards, let me tell you. <laughs> but Smashboards is board? leagues better than Reddit. <laughs> no, that's that's true. So you actually, so you actually fell fell off then. It was only downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. No, it's okay. I, I mean, I'm Reddit's where the viewership's at. I mean, you yeah, dude, I, re I I need Reddit. <laughs> yeah, no, I live off Reddit, kids, dude. Without Reddit, I I wouldn't be here. No one yeah. gives a shit about me without Reddit. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, are, are you guys down to move right. over to Summit Talk? Oh yes. Okay. I have so much. So, shit. Hey, go, 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 go. To, to give sort okay, of a, a oh, so I just want to give like a refresh of people uh, to people who might not know who got eliminated recently. Uh, Franz, Absent Page, Triff, and Michael all got eliminated uh, yesterday, and then today La Luna, Ryan Ford, Spark, and Cyrox got out. If anyone wasn't aware of that, but Kay, you sound like you got something you're ready to jump right into. I'm ready to hear. It. Can we just say who? Okay, who here? Who besides like Edwin and Stango? Who here actually? Okay, first I should preface this with: Did you guys like follow like previous Smash Summit voting like pretty closely? Because I did. I was like pretty like following up with that. I was like pretty interested. Was, like I was. Oh my god, who's gonna get in? Mm -hmm. uh, were any of you guys like that with previous summits? Like decently close. Not a, not as much, really obviously. As I'm covering so this I, one. I guess by virtue of association, I it's kind of invested. I don't know. Yeah. So so okay. So that's like that's my first part. The second part is. Oh no. I, I don't know about you guys, but I actually do not give a fucking shit <laughs> about the voting round this time. I'm looking at this list of like the people who could potentially get in, and I'm just looking at it. Uh, besides Amsa, who I'm like confident will probably get in anyway. Um, like, there's nobody on this list that I'm like remotely interested in getting, except maybe Toussaint. Really? Just because he's from my region, so I'm kind of just like interested to see how that goes. Honestly, the only people that like I would feel any kind of strong emotion for, like, like I, I wrote about why Stango was my personal pick. But if he didn't get get in, like I think there are a lot of, I think all the choices left behind have some kind of value that will make them entertaining. Yeah. And I think the reason K that like, I don't think it's just you that doesn't care about this in terms of a lack of emotional investment. I think as a whole we're so jaded and used to the summit process that we we kind of realize that. 
you know what? If SmashBob gets in or something, then good for him. <laughs> why, why be mad about it? Mm. It'll be entertaining in some well, way. Well, I mean, you're not wrong, <coughs> but there was like, there. I mean, t- I just said uh, there were certain players that I was like r- vaguely interested in. Like, if Triff got in, I would be pretty excited. If mm. Ab- Absent Page got in, I'd be like, okay, you know, whatever. Uh, I- I'd be pretty excited for that. But here are picks like West Balls. Uh, <sighs> Dango, which I'm okay with. Uh, Ginger. Wait, can we go down the list of each? Can oh. we go down the list of each pick and see, like, and see how we would grade them on a scale of one to ten? Uh, uh, on a scale um, well, of I'll one. Give, I'll give. I, I'll give wait, you my. But before we do that, I want to <laughs> like counterpoint to this because I I'm definitely in the minority here. Like, I'm happy with all of these people making it into Summit. Like. I, well, that's because I think no, we're happy. We're like, that's because no, but, you like West Falls. You like Ginger. Yeah, like I, 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 I like Zane. Zane. There is <laughs> like I don't know how you feel about Chudat. <laughs> Chudat's pro- Chudat's the only person like out of this list that I I don't want to see make it into <laughs> Summit. I've I've given up on being like oh I don't want to meme pick with Smash <laughs> Bob after the rap, but <laughs> the rap the rap sold me. I'm like okay, I want this man. There's gonna be a meme pick. There's no fighting that. But like. Anyone besides Chudat, I'm happy of making it in. I mean, I, even Chudat making it in, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. I, I think he would be on the lower end of people I want to see make it in. Mm-hmm. But at least he's entertaining enough as a personality, yeah, yeah. and people do like him. To where I, I'm, I, 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 like, I, I will say, I did like him in Mafia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> but I, I'm happy with all of these people making the summit. Like I'm sad that Absent Page. I'm either trip. content or indifferent. Well, I, uh, except I for Stango. I, I'm not saying I'm, uh, I'm actually Or actually, unhappy. if no, Stango and Zane get in, I'd be happy, but I wouldn't be devastated if they didn't get in, you know? Mm. Uh, honestly, it's not that I hate or am devastated. It's the exact thing that I'm completely indifferent on who makes it in the time. Mm-hmm. Like, first of all, I, I don't really care if Zane or not. Um, <laughs> I don't really like Marth nowadays. <laughs> um, <All right>. uh, <laughs> really cool 2K. <laughs> no, I, I just hate being, being like fair a billion times into like, oh great, <laughs> very interactive. <laughs> uh, All right, and, wave uh, dash backer, wave dash back forward till missile shooting ass. Yeah, but at least I'm like using my brain, dude. <laughs> using your brain? Oh my god, oh, dude. God. <laughs> oh, like, no. you, you never use your brain to hold down on the control stick and. I, I really, I really don't want to hear this from oh, my god. Like arguably the second best character in the game. We're gonna <laughs> have the I first. Fucking money match on the melee stats podcast. Down and dashing back. It's very nuanced. Uh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> you want to know what Stango told me, dude? He looked at me in the eye as a fellow oh, Marth. God, I don't like, want to hear this. Get, 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 I was baffled. I was like, how can you, any human being, say this and be a remotely good player? What What did he say, Edwin? I don't think I. I yeah. I, I, yeah. I, one thing I will give Stango credit for is that I actually like watching him play just because he's such a weird as fuck Marth. Because he just um, swings. He comes yeah. up with the silliest solutions toward toward different as someone who I can guarantee you outside of R2D Lu has watched more Stango matches than anyone on the planet. <laughs> this guy comes up with the strangest solutions to different to different problems. But it somehow works. And he's and he's actually a crazy good adapter. I I have to give him credit for that. <laughs> wow, Edwin's saying how a Marth is so good. I am so surprised by this. Please tell me more. Can right, you can so you tell me to, can you tell me how good Stango is by dude. using go a uh, to Game of Thrones West analogy, West please? In Ginger. Who, what oh, character wait, is Stango wait, wait, in, in uh, Suicide Squad? Yeah. I, I'm starting to connect the dots here. Like like <laughs> Edwin is with Tamar. Yeah, we all get that. Like everybody in Melee Stats knows that like Edwin will marry and die with like a Marth sword in his grave. <laughs> but like, but like, I'm starting to connect the dots. Where I'm, sa- I'm starting to see this trend after today that Save actually like might be like the same as Edwin, but for Falco. Now that I'm starting to think about it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, now that I think about it, I was like, oh man, I'm like, am I the only one here who likes Ginger? And like, oh man, I'm so happy that West Falls beat Wizzero. Yeah. And like, I'm I just, like, wait a minute. I just enjoy, <laughs> you know, I want to bring Andy in this discussion. Andy, the Fox supremacist. <laughs> I feel like he deserves to be mentioned also. Mm. Uh, you know what I will say is that I heavily, I'm going to go up way off topic from summit because i yeah, just know that's a cool, funny whatever. conversation yeah, but like but like 
I heavily agree. Okay, this is gonna be the hottest take. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> I'm ready. But but I think I think that Fox is arguably one of the most honest characters in the. No, he is absolutely. Could you like, could you is, expand? Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, He's what exactly like, do you mean by honest? I I heard that uh, honest honest yeah. is in. The success you see with your characters proportional to the amount of work you put in. Oh okay, yeah, 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 totally, to, yeah, hundred percent. Yes, I don't, I don't think anyone. There's, think there's anyone, no anyone. character that it's embodies that. Fox that fans are little bitches. That's the only thing. <laughs> okay, okay, no, 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 false, false, false. <laughs> I actually disagree with that too. Um, oh, I disagree. Uh, Fox with, don't with, with, with uh, Fox, uh, Fox, Fox, Fox is the most. Like Fox mains on average are the mains that collectively complain the least out of any top like relevant. No, I disagree character. with that. No, no, like, no, I like, think she I, I'm complains with, way more. With Falco yeah, complains she, way she more. Falco, Marth, sure. Marth, Marth, Marth will bitch at the end of time about matchups that they should no, be winning. No, that's for not true. <laughs> 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 You're actually one of the most. We're actually uh, one of the most like character optimist, uh, and, and and Peach mains don't have a Twitter game, so we just don't know what they're <laughs> thinking. <laughs> and, and so, uh, yeah, Fox mains complain all the time, dude. No, nah. the, the, the thing is, like, other characters nah. have inferiority, inferiority, or inferiority complexes where they're like, oh my god, I play. Like, okay, like, all right, all right, all right. I, all right. I, I think it's a sense of vulnerability. No, no, no. No. Okay, Fox Edwin, 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 Edwin. No, really. list, no. list right here, list five foxes that complain incessantly. <laughs> uh, Leffen complains, but he complains about really things. KJ, okay, no, 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 Leffen does complainers. not complain. <laughs> Leffen does not complain at all. Are you kidding me? Leffen, Leffen complains, Leffen, yeah, it's, about, it's not about like things in the game. It's more, it's more like. Oh really come on! Dude. <laughs> I, no, but I, I would say Leffen. I would say I would say Drug Fox when he basically remember when he lost a lot that one time and he and he he was complaining about like or he he was talking about how like if Lod put he would love to see Floaty Mains play other characters and stuff. Okay, um, yeah, no, I think one time that was one, time, was one time versus Hope like John's all the time. No, 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 no. Hold, like on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If if you if. if I mean, Drug Fox, yes, that was a bad take, but the amount of time he Do we count shuts Tof? people- I'll say he complains also. Uh, Tof doesn't Tof count. No, 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 we don't count Tof. We said top Fox players. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yeah, we're only talking about good players in this podcast. That's why yeah. we don't talk about Eichemann as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I will no, say, I think, uh, okay, jokes aside, I think, I think Fox mains would be- I, I definitely think they complain, but I wouldn't say they complain. That's uh, my only uh, umber dream. I, you, 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 as soon as you said yeah. complain and started to say something positive about <laughs> it, just cut off for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, no, I love Fox. Dude. He's I, like, yeah, I love Fox. <laughs> Anytime um, his wife detects him saying something positive about other maids, it automatically no, I just mutes itself. If Marth didn't exist, I would play Fox. Easy. He's dope. <laughs> yeah. I I don't I don't think yeah. I don't think we're gonna going agree. off on you for like the yeah. past ten minutes. Too. I don't I don't think we're That's gonna. Agree. Fox are the biggest complainers of complainers. He is right about that. I'll I'll say that for sure. What? I'll say that no, they're definitely complainers about complainers. <laughs> what Fox or? Yeah, Fox players uh, for sure. I mean, yeah, I just think that in terms of their work ethic and complaining about their character in particular, I just think that among the top tiers. They're the most representative of players that put the work before they do the talk. Mm -hmm. I, I'd 100% agree with that. That, no, that that I I would I say they're second to Marth. Maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Am I this bad with Falco? Like, Stango told really me Marth this down bad? tilt was a bad move. Yeah. <laughs> he looked at me in the eye and was like, Marth down tilt isn't good. And I, I looked at him and was and I just I saw like the face of uh, I, I don't I don't I don't even know how to describe it like Zeus <laughs> whatever deity would be what? something that made Zeus no uh, you immediately go <laughs> to the god the of all said, other gods when just we were talking about game. we were talking about ice climber strategies and he just looks at me and goes the secret is that Marth down tilt isn't isn't very good <laughs> and I was just like what are you 
<laughs> I'm I'm really glad that I saw that fuck Edwin. Uh... <laughs> that's the third time I've done that. I think it's the first time I've seen that. Edwin, the I don't know if you've been that. watching the stream, but I have this sign that just says fuck Edwin that I've been holding up when I feel that way. Oh, you, have you... it's a pretty useful yeah. sign. Dude. Yeah, no, I'm definitely oh, going to keep this on hand anytime I need this during the podcast. It's useful to have. Yeah, so, so, so anyway, I, I, I forget what we were... Okay. I, I love yeah, you, Edwin. I forget what we were originally... It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Fucking Falco main piece of oh. shit. See me on Netplay. Ooh. See me on Netplay. Let's stream on Netplay. Oh my. I really got to uh, get a... Okay, yeah, let's... I, I forget no. what we were originally talking Summit, about. Summit, I think, <laughs> for about, we were, like, a two hot minutes... This? Yeah, uh, we were talking about honesty. Oh, uh, is because Ambi was in the goddamn chat. This dude is instigating fights between other <laughs> and me. Uh, no, it's just between you, dude. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> <just you. laughs> he's trying to he's trying to bring us against each other. No, I think that's you. There's uh, only one race I believe in. Oh, <laughs> that's a clip okay. right there. Okay. All character uh, names matter. <laughs> Um, post podcast money. Okay, I'm gonna be real honest here, and I in the alignment chart I try to maintain my my position as true neutral. So I'm gonna be very honest here. Oh no! If it, if Sam's me, if and, and no 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 offense to to save, but if he had a money match with either of us, oh yeah, yeah, I get my ass whooped. I'm, I'm garbage at this game. I'm absolute <laughs> trash. I'm a literal bronze falco. Like I am trash garbage at the game. That's why when you guys start talking about like things like in-game stuff, I'm just like, yeah, I I, I can short hop laser. I can double shine sometimes. <laughs> oh, no, no, like, no, wait, wait, hold on. I can wait, be peeking at this. Trying to conveniently use the excuse that I'm not even on the podcast. No, you're here in spirit. Liar. Everybody in the chat, chat, dog. I don't care if you're Pika Pow TV or like Falco Master 1999. That's me. Uh, you are part of this chat. We are, uh, you're part of this experience. If you <laughs> say something in the chat and it's not dumb as fuck, we'll probably answer it. <laughs> No, we'll answer dumb questions too. No, that, yeah. that's, that's wrong. We'll, we, we will go off topic questions. answering your shit. In fact, it, your pro question could probably be dumb as fuck, and we'll actually probably be more likely to answer it. Yeah. We'll even give a stupid answer. We'll we'll raise the we'll raise yeah. the, or lower the collective bar. Yeah. <laughs> So, th all of this is to say that, Ambi, this is no excuse. You are part of this. You're you're falling down together with us. God Save's bless. voice sounds as weak as Falco's recovery. Ouch. <laughs> is my voice actually that quiet? Mean, dude? How do you respond to that? Well, well, I, I, I end the stream, that's faster it. Faster than Fox's, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, oh, yes, yeah, Summit. So, back to Summit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. What? No, no, never mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't, are you writing down, like, fuck save right now? <laughs> no, no, it's really stupid. I was yeah. just gonna bring up, I was just gonna bring up Stango literally telling me that Marth down tilt wasn't a good move. Oh. Was this in person, or? <laughs> yeah, it was in person. I just, at, I was talking to him about Marth ice climb, and he's like, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Marth down tilt, <laughs> it's not that good. You can get grabbed. <laughs> I was just like. <sighs> What's the deal with ice? Why isn't he camping? much dude ice never campaigns and mm. the one time he did he took off his shirt and he got it <laughs> <laughs> just that easy <laughs> and uh and then but then duck played the long game and then he took off his shirt <laughs> and then it got really heated <laughs> oh yeah dude. <laughs> and I was like, it's dude. <laughs> Oh, Edwin's like, hmm. I'm hearing this dog whistle. Edwin is like a discount bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is that is the, that is the most racist thing. I've yeah, seen dude. This chat. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Blow <laughs> below the belt. Blow, 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 low hanging Ooh. fruit number eighty-seven, eighty-six Ooh. being like Edwin and Marth. <laughs> Yeah, like at least oh, let's make a Marth joke. Like you, you, like you could have said discount Rishi or something. I, I'm Ooh, Indian, so uh, like, <laughs> I'm. Damn oh, it. Least, <laughs> well, all right. Okay, so so oh, so, all right. <laughs> so no 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 no. You still, no. still mentioned this. You could have mentioned like you could have mentioned like Chip or or Rishi. Or oh something. yes, everybody, everybody <laughs> know the famous blue Chip. <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows who fucking Chip is. 
yeah, okay. according to the Melee Stats podcast, we have to mention like hidden boss names and nobody uh, fucking knows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually have to tally up your score by the end of the podcast of every Wait, player we... name you don't know. And okay. that's... Wait, can we mention poop? We we no. need to do your weekly. Oh my god! Of poop. <laughs> yeah, we're going to mention a poop. And for those not in the know, the the legendary Kingston Falcon, the number one on the PR, it just named shits poop. on people. It just shits on people. Uh, <laughs> this is the the most highbrow podcast I have ever seen. In Wait, my can, can life. you can you bring up that PR? Uh, uh, it should be the game. I don't think it's active like... anymore. I oh, think hold on, I'll, I'll look at it. Also, Edwin, Edwin, while while I'm looking up this link, can you? Uh, can you um, tell us how you would feel if you were compared to Rishi? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rishi was Who would cool you rather person. be compared to, Rishi or Vish? Rishi was cool in person. He plays Marth. He's a good Marth player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Rishi uh, was fine in person. I, I just think that is online... Uh, I think his online persona is persona. Oh yeah, talking like, about people who complain, Marth players who complain. No, we're not going. We're not going back to this. <laughs> I can't even no. like, classify Rishi as complaining though. Oh, it's God. just like he finds just like thing. I, I don't want to put him on blast because like I listen to his podcast with Zane and Earth Penguin and everything, but just uh, <laughs> I, I I think it's it might just be a Marth thing where he he comes off badly online, but in person he's a better he's a better. Uh, or he's better or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I just think some some of his stuff on on social media can can sometimes be a little grating. But I'm sure he would acknowledge that as well. But <laughs> Rishi and Zane have a really good podcast going on right uh, called uh, Analog. Or, or, or maybe this might be better. Say, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Can uh, you if you put it in the Twitch chat, it's easier for me to get to. Even though this is. Oh, the Twitch chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Who just beat uh... Mooney last weekend? Sick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let me pull um, this up. Who just beat Mon- Oh, sick. That's cool. Um, uh, yeah, wow, go. Rishi just plugged your podcast on his podcast. No, I mean, I mean good, good. Yeah, I'm no. Happy that oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> like, oh, don't sorry. get us wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Like, uh, yeah. like, I'm talking about how someone comes off on Twitter. Like, he's yeah. fine and he's fine in person. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like, I don't think it's that big. I don't yeah. think it's like a burning a bridge or anything. No. Look at yeah. this fucking. Look at that PR, dude. It's look ridiculous. at that magical PR. Century, <laughs> Dayman, Kale. I'm, I'm actually making the new. This is Gamerad, so... Are you from Kingston? I actually didn't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah. You know, Byod, otherwise known as Bring Your Own Dad. <laughs> What are the? What is this region's also, I names? I just want to say, Ambie's talking about burning bridges. Oof, Amby, you really want to go there? <laughs> oh, shit. oh wait, okay. You really want to go there, Amby? <laughs> Where are we? Just smash some. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's actually <laughs> let's smash some it. Yeah, let's That's let's finish up let's finish up smash summit talk, and then and then uh, we can. Okay, can we actually go over um, the compendium shit? Like this compen these compendium goals are actually straight fire. What, Wait, what? I, gotta, I gotta take a look at them again. Yeah, I haven't looked uh, in depth. Like, maybe it's just me, but I actually think almost every single one of these, um, see every shows? single one of these uh, goals, I would be totally down. Mm -hmm. I and I have not felt that way about like. I really, um, really like the the vote in round robin. I think that that's an yeah. awesome idea that to get those yeah, players like. Yeah, because it, it feels like like yeah. last time the players just showed up, lost their couple of games, and left. Like it would be really cool to see some more high level, high intensity games. Yeah, yeah. There's like everyone attempts summit, which is a risky idea. I like that they're trying it. Mm -hmm. Media day stream is nice. Me the uh, production quality is always really high. Mario Party, nothing wrong with Mario Party. Hide and seek. I'm interested on how like works yeah. out. I feel um, like it would be. It's more. It would be fun like the first time you watch it, but it, it would get old. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. kind of like the Jenga streams. Like I don't think I need yeah, like three nights of Jenga. I could take three nights of Mafia though, but it's su such an intense game. Like people don't want to play that after a long day of melee. Wait, who's this perfect Sean guy? He's like taking every opportunity. Like shit on you using Falco analogies. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> that that's my that's my chat. We just we just ignore it and cry when the stream's off. Oh all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 
I'm yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm excited for Summit all around. Even though you guys aren't as excited for like the voting. Oh, no, no, phase. I like no, watching we'll, Summit. No, no, no. Like watching Not Summit. Like... I just don't care about the people coming in uh, this time. That's I, like yeah. That's its own thing. Wait. So can, wait. Hold on. Can we just do the, a quick ranking of the player? players on a scale of 1 to 10, just for future reference. What would oh, you rank? Uh, 1 I, to 10? I, yeah. I, I don't... Uh, okay. Yeah, what, 1 uh, to 10 quickly. as... 1 to 10, like, rank of what? What are we ranking? Uh, like, just whether we... you want to, like, uh, of your mood if they get into Summit. Okay. 1 being one being that you want to jump off a bridge, and 10 <laughs> being that you want to buy flowers for that person. <laughs> I feel like... I was going to make a really... I was gonna make a really dark joke, and then I remembered her on stream. Ah, what's the worst thing? Type happen? it to me, and we'll we'll review it together. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I know okay. it's not okay. <laughs> this stream has gone off the rails. Okay, so right. let's 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 I, get it back I mean, on. No, no, no. Okay. God yeah, damn it. Basically, Edwin, 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 Edwin. I'll preface it with this: that only you guys would get. Oh, oh you yeah. know where I am right now, right? And you know how you just described what one is. <laughs> Wait, hold on, you have to. What? <laughs> yeah, just let's not, let's, let's just guys. If, if right say, say, do you get what I'm saying? No, I don't. But right, I, right, I, right, I don't think the people right. in the chat have any idea what we're talking no, no, about. No, 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 That's no, no. probably where. But where? What? Where? What study room is this okay. school located in? <laughs> I, I think we I think we should we should move past this because no one has any idea what we're talking about. Yeah, that's, yeah. For, that's well, no, it'll be idea. fun. It's just ranking players on how much. Oh yeah, okay, no, no, yeah, no, Edwin, I want to do that. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah I, I was just yeah, yeah. Let uh, me go back to the the, the screen for this. I, I would say I would say number one is probably Amsa because it's always sick to do stuff. Um, and I just sympathize with Asian players a lot just because <laughs> there's a lot of that language barrier and mm -hmm. just opportunities to play. Mm -hmm. um, although Japan doesn't have it much better off than Korea does, that's another thing. Um, two is probably Two Saint because he's from my American region, um, so I kind of just want to see him do well. Um, and I think he's been showing up, so I think that's cool. Although he probably has the resume of like when Mafia got voted into Summit, but I don't think anybody really minds this time around. Um, mm -hmm. So, oh, I, I guess I said one too. I should probably say ten and nine. Because I'm just doing them in order, mm. um, and then, and then I guess it would be kind of funny if Legend gets on, just because I know nothing about that guy other than that he's a good player, mm -hmm. and that he doesn't like Hbox. So I guess that's. <laughs> Dude, did you see how but, Legends uh, Legends approach to advertising himself on Smash Bros. Yeah, I thought it was so funny. Well, what did he do? Yeah, what did he do? He, he he wrote a post on Smash Bros. that said something along the lines of. Hbox is my idol. I would, oh, I, I really inspire him, and I would love to cherish his honor, or I would love to play in, play in his honor or something. Then he posts on SSBM writing, "Yeah, I hate lame box. Let's." <laughs> oh, respect. I, okay, I am a legend fan. Let's get this guy. Yeah, he's, he's gotta make it that's now. Really funny. That's dope. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what a fucking legend. Yeah, that's uh... I, I have to look at that after this is done. Um, oh, I just got your pun. Oof. Yeah. That's a D1 joke, dude. What? That's a D1 joke. It's the equivalent of a dad joke. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you talking about? You're, you're legend. Okay. Oh, I didn't even yeah, realize yeah. it. <laughs> oh. Also, Ed, it was Ed, unintentional? Okay, I, yeah, I guess yeah. that makes sense. Edwin, I was under the understanding when you wanted to do that, you wanted to go like player by player and we'd each like give a number as we go. Is that what you meant to do? Oh, legend's in the chat. I forgot about oh. that. No, Wait, no oh, pop legend. Got that's <laughs> you got down. <laughs> I, I thought I thought I thought Puff Legend was was the Puff from New England. <laughs> so no, it's like really kidding. Kind of God bless. <laughs> no, you're well, thinking like, of doing Puff something. Like, Puff. like okay, now I'm scrolling up to see what else the fuck he said because like he posted like some other stuff. <laughs> um. Oh well, whatever. Hmm. But Edwin, when we originally started this, did you mean to go like we go player by player and we all we each give a number like one to ten? Is that, that what is you what meant I to meant, do? But okay, that's yeah, okay. That's okay. yeah, no, it, because I mean honestly, because you, Edwin, and I already kind of we picked like who we want to see at Summit last podcast. So, yeah, yeah, basically, Stango Zane, Ice, Amsa, Ginger, Hugs. Those would be mine. Are the the Ices and Puffs? I won't complain if they get in, but mm -hmm. obviously they're at the bottom of the list for me just because I don't care about seeing those characters. Um, if I had to choose six people, it would probably be Legend, Toussaint, 
Amsa, Stango, Hugs, and then I don't really care who the sixth one mm. is. Oh, no, that's not true. I think it'd be kind of funny if Smash Bob got it, but if Ice or Army got in instead, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I, I think my, my picks are kind of or the hugs. same same ballpark. Like, West Ball is Ginger, Stango, Zane, Amza, and then probably Smash Bob is going to make by the meme pick. Who, I, who I, don't, do you... I don't care if Zane doesn't make yeah. <laughs> Now, we, we, we kind of... Again. Yeah. yeah. We kind of all know who we want to get in. Who do you, like, actually think by, like, looking at the votes now and kind of expecting who's going to have bombs? Who do you think are actually, at least, say, just looking at the standings now, who do you think are the two who are going to make it tomorrow? Because kind of, I think West Balls will probably get it, and it's hard to tell. Maybe, uh, it, I think West Balls is definitely in, but I'm not sure who's going to get the second tomorrow. I, uh, I, uh... Judging by, think, like... Oh, yeah, go ahead. I think Chudat won't get it. I... Yeah, I, I don't think he has... Especially that Chillin's giving all the support to uh, Zane. Yeah, and then Zane has, like, the Reddit support as well. <clears throat> um, so they'll probably... Zane will probably steal most of the votes. And he might get in. I think <clears throat> the only... And then West Balls is in danger of splitting with Hugs. <clears throat> um, and Army. And, uh, yeah, so I would say the only player that I have, like, a pretty good confidence in him getting in, besides Amsa, is probably Ginger. Yeah, I, I think those two will... <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm locks, very confident that Amsa Michigan. and Ginger will get in, just because Michigan mm -hmm. um, has low-key been, like, the hidden New England this entire time, and nobody's really, like... <laughs> 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 yeah so ginger's been working really hard and, and and you know he's he's been streaming a lot he's a popular player he represents falco a flashy character and everything i, I think he'll get in mm -hmm. oh hey legend can you like uh do you have like a screenshot or a link to that reddit thread that you made because i kind of want to read it now <laughs> it was really funny <laughs> or, or at least like the comments especially i'm just like i really want to like <laughs> like absorb the the salt <laughs> uh <laughs> oh, he's got it he's got it yeah okay <laughs> Um, we should probably end soon because I still have some work to do um, yeah, before can, the night ends. But we can probably uh, wrap it up. We've kind of gone off the rails and no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it was I, yeah, it was kind I'm of nice. Looking oh. for, I'm not looking forward to what people might have to say about yeah. me. It, it's kind of nice. It's clear. To, yeah. yeah. Not looking forward to the burned bridges <laughs> that we. We'll be fine, and it, it's uh, near uh, the we, end we, of the I, podcast. Did I shit on anyone today? Uh, I, I feel like I've said. So I'm like, I, I feel like I sh did shit on someone today, but... No, um... we talked about uh, Stango, we talked about Rishi, we talked about Zane. Wait, did we talk about Zane? No. Well, I don't, I don't want to talk about Zane. <laughs> um, don't get... Okay, for anybody who might be listening to this later and really like Zane, I think Zane's Marth combo game is actually sick as fuck. It's just... There's a little part of me that dies inside whenever I see, like, a fox get, like, dash back on his nair and then get down throw to D tilted to death. Like there's a little part of me that dies a little bit inside every time I see that. <laughs> so that and it's not specific to Zane. Zane just epitomizes the movement like no other Marth. So I think Zane took ideas that um uh, twenty fifteen Edwin really brought to the <laughs> oh, game. My, oh yeah, way way to interject yourself in this analogy. <laughs> yes. It's actually a very Marth main move of myself, <laughs> if I must say so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well anyway uh all right you oh, guys oh, okay. you guys want to call with that it. Yeah. He yeah he liked it okay no uh, it's deleted it's zero upload yeah. sad hello are you guys still there no i'm just reading this right now yeah. and then okay, okay like, well well even... while you while you guys go to read that i think it's probably a good time to wrap it up before we we go on this whole reddit rabbit Wait. hole Wait, uh, our SSBM has historically been more anti HBox and anti Puff than our Smash Bros. So I get what he was going for. That says it comes off as very hypocritical and scummy. If anything, this discourages me from voting for Legend. Uh, how did nobody see the satire in this? Yeah, I, I don't know. He's... All right. 
<laughs> yeah, but but with with that out of the way, uh, K. Edwin, thank you for coming. Oh, I, actually, no, that sounds like it's not our, it's our podcast, the Melee Stats podcast. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you guys for coming in Twitch chat and hanging out. Uh, we right. will see you next week at about the same time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time. Peace. Don't hate us. Um, and I don't know who's going to be on, on there next week. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be there. Uh, hopefully I will, because I want to be on the podcast with Andy next time, because oh, I think we'll have a good chemistry with each other. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, uh, if if I am there next week, I hope I do this again. This is pretty fun. So, um, And then this time... Uh, and if I'm not there next time, well, enjoy the podcast. This is a really fun podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fun. We we're yeah. burning all our bridges in the community. Yeah, One, and it was a, yeah. Europe, Marth mains. <laughs> <laughs> it's who can we upset every episode? Yeah, who, yeah. who's yeah. next? <laughs> Oh, when the when the box manifesto comes out or whatever. Oh shit! Oh, oh, God. God. oh yeah, leaks. Uh, and then after after this coming weekend, we'll have a lot of stuff to talk about in the following day too. So. Oh God. Yeah, but that's probably it. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll. Oh blur! Oh, 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 oh no! Get out! No no no! no. <laughs> we gotta delete the bots. This, this never bots. happened. We didn't say anything bad about it. Blur. Oh, no, blur. no, that bot was loose. It's here. He, he knows, dude. He knows. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we don't need another Marth main. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Marth, Marth, Marth main's not the problem. The problem is that. <laughs> no, oh, no there he goes again. God damn it! All right, <laughs> we're screwed. All right, well, guys, anyway. this is the last episode of the Melee Podcast. <laughs> last episode. Nice seeing you. We had a, a yeah, had a good long season, but we were canceled by. Uh, <laughs> So we were canceled um, by the Illuminati. Uh, we might disappear after this. Uh, everybody, everybody, vote for Legend. By the way, he is in fact a legend. Yeah. yeah after exactly. I learned about that, right? the Melee right. Stats podcast officially so endorses Legend. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, unfortunately, we I'm I'm it. broke as shit right now, so I can't endorse uh, anybody at the moment. But I uh, just. Just know yeah. that. Unfortunately, that I don't want to vote, vote for a jig- Unfortunately, I don't want to vote for a Jigglypuff into Summit. So I will just full disclosure: I'm not voting. Dude, I hate you. Legend, what? I think like, Evan, cool. you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> like play it simple. I hate. Just, I'm not voting for Jigglypuff for Ice. <laughs> no, season. it's just like I. I, I just like um social climbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! We didn't even talk. God, we, no, we, we burned no, no, all no, our bridges. No, 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 we're not. No, please. No, we're not talking about this. No, I'm just saying that I I I I hate Puff, but I I I I like I treat Puffs like I do Brawl. I hate I hate the base. I hate the concept of it, but I like the people behind it. You know, <laughs> I like the people behind it. I hate the concept. Of Puff. <laughs> yeah, I hate the concept of Puff, but I like the people who play Puff. Much like how I hate the concept of Brawl, but I like the people who play Brawl. Not so much Smash Four. <laughs> Not so much Smash Four, but like, but except yeah, except. Huge box, but like, uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> um, oh my god, King! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, so uh, everybody, thank you for listening to the Melee Sets podcast. Um, uh, that's it, uh, we're, we're, this we're done. Episode, dude, this is the K guy signing off. <laughs> this is everybody saying goodbye. <laughs> this is Save is Untitled for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> See you before I get doxxed and all those clips. Sabotaged. God damn it, why did I agree to this? And we're done. <laughs>